Country News contributor Rick Green, you are pired up listening to all of these stories. American companies continue to champion woke causes. Do you believe consumers will be able to eventually hold them accountable for that? I do, Greg. I can tell you right now, the Green family was a huge MLB uh, supporting family. We spent a lot of money with MLB, visited 28 of the 30 baseball parks over the years as we traveled the nation. We haven't spent a penny with them in the last two years since they went woke and went against American values. Uh, it, it, it's a shame. I think it will catch up. And, you know, it actually ties into all the other stories. The, this effort, this this childlike fantasy of saying that all ideas are equal uh, instead of being adults and saying good is good and evil is evil. And there are things that are wrong that harm our culture. The reason people are going to finally make the corporations pay for it is because we're feeling the pain as our culture crumbles. We must restore American values, and those are biblical values. Okay, Joe Rogan recently said America has a mental health problem disguised as a gun problem. Then he said this. And I don't think it's wise to take the guns away from the people and leave all the power to the government. We see how they are even with an armed populace. They still have a tendency towards totalitarianism. You heard Joe Rogan. What say you? Yeah, Joe's right. In fact, this uh, fascination with the gun as the problem is is foolish and, again, childish. It ignores history. We've had mass murder events throughout history, most of the time committed by government. But whether it's a crazed government or a crazed individual, whether they use a gun or they use, you know, the worst school massacre in American history didn't involve a gun. Uh, the two of the worst mass murder events in the last year did not involve a gun. One of them was a bow and arrow. Another one was the family suburban. It's not the weapon. It's the heart of man, the nature of man. And the only thing that's going to stop these mass murder events or at least minimize them is to reduce the time from the nut job coming in to the time that he or she is stopped. And the only way you do that is you put guns in the hands of citizens and you train them. The more trained citizens, that means you have a sheepdog to protect the sheep and you're ready when the wolf shows up. All right, listen to this update from our nation's baby formula crisis. An estimated 70% of the nation's baby formula supplies now out of stock. In Dearborn, Michigan on Friday, cars lined up for nearly a mile waiting for formula. Volunteers struggling to meet the demand as some in line were turned away empty-handed. Rick, this is happening in America. Is this going to get worse before it gets better? It just might, uh, Greg, because, listen, the principles of tyranny produce famine and chaos and empty shelves. The principles of liberty produce abundance and freedom. And we have an administration that is fascinated with the principles of tyranny. We call it socialism and communism. It's horrible economic policies. In this case, it was overregulation by the FDA that shut down this plant and, and caused all of these ripple effects throughout the uh, uh, throughout the, the country. So, yeah, Greg, I think it's going to get worse until we finally get some elected leaders that understand the principles of liberty that America was built upon and restore those principles. Speaking of elected leaders, let's uh, turn to Joe, Bi Joe, Joe Biden when he says <laughs> to Naval Cadet grads that he was going to go to the Navy Academy. He's never mentioned this in 50 years of public office. Now, let's see, he's been a coal miner a truck driver. Um, I think while you were a legislature, he might have been a Texas Ranger with old Walker there. I mean, is there anything this president hasn't done, Rick? He, he might have been the Texas Ranger that took out Bonnie and Clyde. I mean, you know, you just never know. This guy's been everywhere. Uh, he, he certainly could have been a part of the Democrat Party that did all the Jim Crow laws. Uh, he he see, said before he's around 100 years ago. So, I, you know, Greg, I hate to be completely cynical about it, but, you know, the old expression, a nation has the leaders it deserves. When a nation rejects God and a nation, you know, literally um, uh, rejects the founding uh, formula and the principles that it was built upon, you end up with this kind of leadership. The good thing is most Americans recognize this for what it is. They know this guy's inept, that he's not capable, and the Democrat Party is going to pay the price for that at the, at the polls this year. Uh, and, you know, I hope that Republicans will be smart enough to put people in office here that will adhere to the principles and not cater uh, to the left-wing mob out there. I agree. All right, Rick, uh, this woman's struggling with adults misgendering her. Every time they refer to me or my coworkers or a group of us with me and my coworkers together, it's always ladies, lady, girl, girlies, ma'am, and just it's non-stop. All right, I did a middle-aged man eye roll. Rick, what's your counsel to this troubled woman person, rainbow hair person thing hit? Well, 
How do we know if we misgendered or Mr. Gendered, as Brad Stein might say? And exactly what is a woman after all? I'm I'm uh, looking forward to Matt Walsh's special coming out this week on what is a woman. I hope we can get back to common sense. I hope we can get back to biblical principles. This just again another example of how far the culture's crumbled. Don't give up out there though, folks. The principles work. We just have to bring those good principles back. Yeah, she said she's tired of it, and so am I. Rick, thank you. Mike, back to you.